Well, if you notice this shirt I'm wearing, uh, this shirt was sent to me by my friend Primetime Amy Lee, a uh, former professional wrestler who I worked a lot with in uh, WSU and who we became close friends with, and we ba basically have the, the, the same sense of humor and her key, uh, key, her, her uh, I don't know, her key phrase was, I'm going to skull fuck you in the ring, which is pretty cool, but anyway, going back to the summer of sleaze, um, I believe, geez, let me think. Hell's Angels on Wheel came out, I think, 67. And I didn't get my license until 70. But this film, for whatever reason, seemed to hang around. Um, I'm not sure we see the exact date here. I'm a little bit curious myself as to what I did here. Um, oh, fuck, I can't even find the damn thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm in good shape, but, you know, I'm out of surgery and stuff like that. Where the hell is it? Damn. Anyway, th I think it was 67. Um, the big thing was the film starred Jack Nicholson. And that might have been the reason why it was still bouncing around by the time I got my license, because Jack was hot. The main, one of the other main stars was Adam Rourke, who basically was in a lot of these biker films. And this actually was uh, endorsed by... None other than Ralph Sonny Badger, the legendary president of the Hells Angels, the late legendary president of the Hells Angels, who had a cameo in the beginning of the film hugging Adam Rourke as the two biker gangs met. Um, they actually wore the Hells Angels logo in this one. Um, in addition to um, Adam Rourke and Jack Nicholson, you had John Garwood. And um, actually, the, the stunt coordinator on the film was my buddy Gary Kent. And... Bud Cardo starred in there as uh, one of the guys who instigated a fight with the Angels. And there was a, another fight scene in a motel, the same one that Bud was in, where basically uh, Jack Nicholson and Adam Rourke are in this empty swimming pool and are being set on by none other than a bearded Gary Kent. So really cool to see my buddies in this thing. But it started out that um, Jack Nicholson is poet, this gas station attendant who takes off with uh, the Angels, uh, their leader, uh, Buddy, played by Adam Rourke, and Rocco, played by John Garwood, uh, all in there and things like that. So they go to this, uh, I guess, carnival, and um, Poet is attacked by four sailors and beaten up, and Buddy brings the uh, gang back to retaliate, and retaliating kills one of the uh, sailors. So they are being stalked by this police officer, played by director Jack Starrett. Uh, you might remember Jack as Gabby Johnson in Blazing Saddles. Jack did a lot of biker movies, directed them, and starred in them, too. So it follows the exploits, and there's like a big pot, pot party, orgy, body painting thing that's pretty interesting to watch because, you know, going back to the hippie days of, you know, the 60s, I remember shit like that. So there's also some tension because of um, Buddy's girlfriend, Sabrina Schrift, playing, uh, paying attention to Jack. And, um, you know, they go on riding and uh, things like that. You know, he, she's property or whatever. And then um, there's a wedding with uh, AIP uh, regular Bruno B. Soda as a priest. And it's a biker wedding. And then they go, uh, there's something where they cause a car accident and the guy dies. But, you know, nobody's arrested. They free the guy and they go hide out in the ruins. Where... The girl character is sitting there crying, and she admits to Poet that she's pregnant with Buddy's child, and Poet, being the gentleman that he is, said that he would marry her, and there's an altercation between Poet and Buddy, and the girl throws Buddy the weapon to fight Poet, which completely disgusts Poet. Poet throws down his weapon, walks out, Buddy's pissed off, jumps on his motorcycle, crashes through a window, but the bike crashes, blows up, and Buddy dies. Another, well, I can't say it's a 70s downbeat ending, but it's getting there. Um, pretty good film. You know, the biker films were really hot back then. They stayed around. And, uh, you know, of course, like I said, you know, Jack Nicholson was becoming a big name at that point. You know, it was around the same time as Easy Rider. So maybe that explains why the film kept, get, it kept getting brought back. Um, it was released by Fanfare Films, Joe Solomon's company. And they did a lot of biker films, including... Uh, stuff shot in the Philippines like The Losers and things. And uh, it was a pretty uh, prolific company. I believe they had 30 or something releases before they folded up. But um, 
Yeah, I believe one of the releases was uh, Werewolves on Wheels, which uh, weirdly was distributed by this company called Electric Video. I think that was the only mainstream title they might have had, because I think they had also the Sika Long Dong Silver uh, video for some reason. So, Hell's Angels on Wheels is available on Tubi. Uh, definitely worth checking out. I hadn't seen it in years, and I wanted to revisit it, and I still had some memories of it. And like I said, it's one of the, it has basically a lot of uh, actual Hell's Angels in it as background characters and roaming around. And basically, tree clubs were involved, Oakland, uh, San Francisco, and San Bernardino, I believe. And like I said, uh, Ralph Sonny Badger gets a cameo in the beginning. So, really cool film. So that's our show for today. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to check out my Roger Corman tribute on thefuseboxshow.com, and we will catch you on the flip side.